face is falling down because 500 is going to go in the neck. So, you know, my ass can only take so much. You're <laughs> up that ass. Come on, hock work, hock work, hock work, hock work. Up, yeah. Kick it. All right, let's go. Can only take so much. Fit, <laughs> fit. Come on. Hock work, hock work, hock work, hock work. The Eagles are trying to. Uh, did I just say what I think? I... Uh, did. Pause. No, did. Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work man it is thirsty thursday already it is nfl week number eight already we've got the minnesota vikings with the los angeles rams on tap tonight and i can't wait to watch that and we'll be live streaming in a few minutes but we've had a controversy that's been going on and that has been the uh zoo animals that the dallas cowboys are we've heard that it's a bit of a distraction for some players that as they're working out, you're getting tours of fans that are coming through. And Dak Prescott got asked about that whole situation. Let's go to the tape, well, shall we? And outspoken about tours being a distraction. Do you feel that way at all? And uh, if so, what's your response? Uh, I mean, for once, is all I know. Um, I'm not going to let a couple of people touring the building distract me. I'm present where I am. Um, I think simply, honestly, I feel like it's an excuse uh, that, yeah, I mean, what's, what's the difference in you guys coming in the locker room and talking, you know what I mean? Honestly, we guys bitch about that too, and, and I don't get that. I mean, it's been a professional, some things you deal with. Obviously, I guess the nature of this organization, you know, the tours are probably 10 times more than other places if the other places are doing them. I think some do, right? I mean, no? Well, okay, there you go. Cowboy. <laughs> um, nope, nobody else yeah, does it. Do. Um, but I guess, you know, passing up the... Yeah, passing up the guys. I mean, you know, yeah, you've just got to you got to embrace it. I mean, honestly, to me, um, you, you can walk by and you can have a negative mindset about it and allow that to ruin your day, or you can you know, be thankful that, that you're an organization that people want to see. And you know, for me, it's just easy to, to to say what's up, wave, and and keep walking. Obviously, they can't talk to you, so I think that's where I've heard right. You feel like a zoo animal. Well, it's like you know, sometimes yeah, I bark back and I say hey, and you know, you just keep rolling. So. Um, a lot going on that I'm not going to allow a couple of people um, through the workplace. Uh, there's other there's people on the other side of the building that that you don't necessarily know. Is it a distraction when you're grabbing your plate and they, or they're grabbing theirs? That um, It's easy to focus on what you want to focus on if that's your mindset. Is that a difference between winning and losing? No. That has not played a role in the guys. tours? Yes. I, I mean, I don't think so. Then, I mean, if, if that's the case, then the crowd's a distraction when you get out there. So, I mean, it's the NFL. It's a... It's a Business that those exact reasons are the are, are the reasons that this game is entertaining that, that people want to watch it that you have the fans that you have and you can create the relationships that um, no I mean if you're distracted by that then you're distracted by by the fans in any arena you get into. There you go, uh, Dak Prescott basically saying that's bullshit you know which is true you have <laughs> you you play in front of you know ninety thousand people on Sunday watched by millions so if you know with your list of weights and somebody is tapping on the glass and you know that is it ideal probably not but you know you can't say we're losing games because people are coming by and seeing us work lift weights yeah that that is kind of, that is kind of weak right there now we have talked about practice some the one thing i'm going to say that sounds like it might be a good idea is you know sometimes you can have too many cooks in the kitchen you know, and, you know, one wants more salt, one wants more pepper and things like that. And you mess it up. And so one of the things the Cowboys have done is they end up doing a lot more individual work. Well, Mike McCarthy says this week they're focusing in more on teamwork. They're doing more team drills together. And the good news is uh, you've got CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott working more plays with each other so maybe there'll be a little more cohesion you know we got to make up for that time that cd lamb wasn't in camp and hopefully this is where the cowboys get back together um from the time that they missed in training camp you know 
Um, hopefully, hopefully, we get this stuff together and we get a different result. Hopefully, this is a good week of practice, although there's just tomorrow left and then the next day is a travel day. So there's not much time left to uh, get this shit together coming off the bye week. Can't wait to see them play on Sunday. It seems like it's been forever. And the Cowboys, they truly need a win. They need a win in the worst way. Um, Hopefully, they focus in on getting just that. I know Dak Prescott's going to be dialed in, um, and hopefully his receiving core will be as well. Uh, One other good note is that Brandon Cooks is back working on the bands and is on the sidelines getting ready to hopefully get back off of injured reserve after having the infection in his knee. So after this game, it looks like the Cowboys will be a lot more healthier um, than they will this week. This week, it looks like we're still going to be very, very shorthanded. Uh, Deron Bland has not done anything other than work on the bands, and uh, without practicing this week, you can't expect him to come in and start playing a game on Sunday. And the same thing with Micah Parsons. He seems to be moving around without a limp, but again, he's only been working out on the bands. He has not gotten any extra work as far as actually practice. So we're probably going to have both of those guys on the sidelines. The good news is Celan Carson, uh, he is practicing, full participant, and uh, should be good to go uh, this week, which should definitely be a boost. We haven't seen him for a couple of weeks, and it'll be nice to get him back out on the field. Brandon Albury is still working with uh, <clears throat> the jury duty, uh, but there's no court cases on Sunday, so hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be ready to go. There you have it. Mike McCarthy on the hot seat. Cowboys looking for answers, and at least Dak is saying it's bullshit about the whole, uh, you know, the fans are the problem that we're not winning. You know, it, it's just, it's getting crazy out here. Alrighty, good people. I'll see you at our live stream. I'm a little whooped today. That roof is kicking my ass. But you know, it doesn't matter. You got to do what you got to do. All right. Peace out. It's just falling down because 500 is going to go in the net. So, you know, my ass can only take so much. You're <laughs> up that ass. Come on. Cock work. Cock work. Cock work. Cock work. Up yeah, that man. Kick it. All right, let's get it. That is. It can only take so much. <laughs> Come on. Cock work, cock work, cock work, cock work. The Eagles are trying to. Uh, did I just say what I think? I... Uh, did.